there are some things that we just don't want to know about. Stop jump and roll! Stop jump and roll! This is why some secrets stay buried for so long. You've got to think, if something stays buried for so long, there's probably a good reason. You should be careful where you start digging, because you just don't know what you'll find. In today's video, we'll count down 10 scary discoveries that should have stayed secret. Let's begin. Ready to join the finest squad? Then make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of our interesting videos ever again. That being said, let's begin. The Baigong Pipes In an area of China where nobody has ever lived, there's a mountain with three triangular openings and a series of pipes. These pipes look just like modern sewage pipes do in major cities. The thing is, nobody has ever inhabited this mountain, and nobody ever could as it is totally uninhabitable. The pipes go through the mountain and open up to the lake. The strange part is, the pipes date back to caveman times. There's no way people back then knew how to make metal, let alone design an entire pipe system. Plus, the Chinese government would never have allowed people to do something like this on their own. Some people think the pipes were put there by aliens, but more reasonable people think that at some point a civilization had to have lived there. There's just no other explanation for these pipes. Tiny human or alien? Back in 2003, a tiny skeleton only 6 inches tall was discovered in the Atacama Desert in Chile. It was found naturally mummified. You can see the entire skeleton of what looks to be a human. It has the ribs, skull, and all other body parts. But is it possible that there was once a 6 inch tall human? A lot of people think it must be an alien because there's no way it was a person. Archaeologists confirmed that it was indeed a human. They sequenced her DNA and confirmed it was a person. They named her Ada. She was related to the ancient Chileans. They say she had a weird genetic growth deformity that caused her to be so small. But they haven't been able to diagnose her condition because they've never seen anything like it before or since. Giant Stone Balls of Costa Rica Costa Rica and the surrounding area is home to a bunch of stone balls. They are perfectly smooth and perfectly round. Some are small, but some are as big as 8 inches in diameter. They date back thousands of years, but Costa Rica didn't even enter the Bronze Age until 2013. They were clearly handcrafted, but nobody knew where they had come from or why they were there. The balls are carved out of volcanic rock. A lot of locals have tried to bust the balls open to see if they can find treasure in there, or coffee beans, but they aren't breakable. Nobody's really come up with any rational explanation for what the balls are. Some are too heavy to even move, so we can't imagine what purpose they served. Gobekli Tape More than 11,000 years ago, during the Stone Age, hunter-gatherers had not yet settled down. People didn't live in houses, they lived in caves. They were nomadic and they went wherever the food was. So it was strange to find what appears to be an old settlement in the heart of Turkey. What archaeologists found there is making scientists question just how wrong their timeline is. This find is a circular structure with separate rooms, animal carvings, and stone rings. It clearly was designed to house a family of some sort. It is now believed to be the oldest known architecture in the world. Some think it may have been a religious building. This would make sense if the Stone Age civilization was nomadic but wanted churches to stop at and worship. The Hobbits In 2003, scientists discovered what they dubbed as hobbits on the remote Indonesian island of Flores. Now, these hobbits didn't resemble the ones you saw in the movie. <laughs> They were tiny humans that were no larger than three and a half feet tall. The first one was confirmed in 2003 and was female. At first, they just thought she was a tiny human. They presumed they were suffering from a condition that caused them to have little bodies and large heads. But they realized they were wrong. Apparently, the little people of Flores are actually their own species. 
We won't try to pronounce the name of the species here, you've probably never heard of it, but the researchers discovered more bodies of this species later on in Flores. They still have no idea when they existed or where they came from. Baby Disposal Scientists discovered over 100 sets of baby bones in an ancient bathhouse located in Ashkelton, Israel. At first, they must have thought it was a cemetery or morgue of some sort. Maybe it was a hospital or orphanage. But no, it was none of these things. It was literally a dumping ground for the bodies of babies that had belonged to prostitutes many years ago. In the culture back then, babies weren't seen as valuable. They were simply another mouth to feed and something to keep you up at night. Prostitutes couldn't afford to keep the babies. They couldn't feed them, and it wasn't like they could go work the streets at night with nobody to watch their babies, so they just threw them in here and let them die. The Kachabib. In Jordan, there's a giant wall that measures over one meter tall and 93 miles long. It's their own version of the Great Wall of China, or Hadrian's Wall. The thing is, it's not tall enough to keep out any kind of military threat. In fact, if someone wanted to, they could probably get over the wall pretty easily. Nobody was really sure what the wall was for. Clearly, it took a long time and a lot of manpower to build this wall, so there had to be a reason, right? Apparently, they believe the wall was built to keep out goats. The goats would get into people's farms and eat their crops. So all the farmers in the area got together and built this wall to protect their farmland. Terracotta Warriors a bunch of people in China were digging a well when they found something really strange. They found a life-size statue of what appeared to be a warrior. When they started to dig a little deeper, they realized that there was a lot more than one of them. Archaeologists came and did an actual dig. They found over 8,000 clay statues down there. Apparently, these statues were buried in the honor of the first emperor of China, Qin Shi Huangdi, who took the throne in 246 BC. Researchers discovered his tomb many years ago, but were afraid to dig it up because it was too fragile. They figured it would collapse if they dug any further. They did find statues of soldiers as well as dancers and acrobats. The Filipino Fire Mummies Many years ago, scientists discovered a bunch of giant nut-sized coffins near the ancient Kabayan burial caves of northern Philippines. They knew that there were mummies inside of these nut shells, but they had no idea how the people got whole bodies into the tiny shells. Well, the Filipino Fire Mummies finally answers this question. Apparently, when they found out that someone was close to death, they would make the drink in a saltwater solution. They told him it was to cure him from the inside out, but it was actually meant to kill him and get it over with. Then, they would slow roast his body over a spit for weeks or months. They'd also shoot smoke up the backsides of the people to speed up the process. Once they were cooked, they were tiny and crispy enough to fit inside the shells. They were then stored in a cave and left there for ages. Dozens of shackled skeletons found in Athens. In 2016, a crew in Athens, Greece were working on building a new library and national opera house. When they started to dig up the earth, they found the Phaleron Delta Necropolis. This was a sprawling cemetery that's thought to be the burial ground of over 1,500 ancient Greeks. As if this wasn't bad enough, they found something else. When they kept digging, they found a smaller chamber. When they opened it up, they discovered 80 skeletons with their hands still in shackles. The bodies were of young, healthy people, so we can't imagine why they would all be dead. Uh, clearly, the shackles give us a clue. This had to be a mass execution, and the bodies were shoved, one on top of the other, into this chamber. Can you imagine how haunted that plot of land is? Some things are better left unexplained. Have you ever solved a mystery that you wish you hadn't? If so, check out our other cool videos and let us know what you think. See you next time.